than now at that time. Yeah. So, I mean, during labor with my second daughter, I had what's called an amniotic fluid embolism. And it it's a very rare, but extremely dangerous, life-threatening emergency. And so they had to do a stat C-section to get my daughter out very quickly. But I think the grace I received is both my daughter and I survived. And even throughout my pregnancy, I changed OBs multiple times to get to the correct hospital that had the machine that saved my life. And at that time, that's the only hospital that was able to perform that particular machine on adults. There is another hospital that does it for pediatrics, but they don't do it for adults. What's it called again? It's called ECMO. It stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. Okay. So kind of think heart bypass or like Mm -hmm. another analogy I like to give is like uh, dialysis is for your kidneys. ECMO is for your heart and or lungs. And I unfortunately needed both because my heart and lungs were not working. Mm -hmm. And I was on that for five days. And like I said, at the time they didn't even do the, or excuse me, the other hospital didn't even do that for Mm -hmm. adults. And so I just think like God was paving the way throughout my pregnancy. And I mean, there are hundreds of little nuggets throughout my pregnancy that, you know, I just think God was trying to prepare our family Mm -hmm. for what was to come. Obviously we, we didn't know it for sure. Mm -hmm. I think on some level, I, again, God was preparing me, but I kind of always struggled with anxiety. So I chalked it up to anxiety. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just think the grace that I, our family chose because the big decision was, do I have a repeat C-section or do I go for a a VBAC or a vaginal Mm -hmm. birth after a cesarean? Mm -hmm. And had I gone for a repeat C-section, I would have delivered at the same hospital that I I had my first daughter at. Okay. And that hospital was not equipped to have to, um, what's the word? Um, saved my life. They weren't equipped for that level of trauma. And so I would have had to be life flighted. And doctors told my husband, I probably wouldn't have even survived the life flight. That's 15 Mm -hmm. minutes across town. Wow. So, I mean, again, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Like it just, it's just the amount of grace that God poured on our family, not only to save my daughter's life because she had to be resuscitated Mm -hmm. She had to go to the NICU, make sure she was okay. And she bounced back incredibly well. She has um, a cut from when they did the C-section. But Mm -hmm. other than that, she's perfectly healthy.